folks, it's Vengeance Hero, and you are joining me for episode six of Returnal. Uh, last episode, uh, before I get started in this one, um, I realized I had some audio issues, um, which I think I may do a quick tutorial on. Um, just a bit of an issue that I ran into with OBS Studio that... Um, I'm not sure, but maybe some other people run into, and I couldn't really find any solutions looking online. Um, so anyways, I understand my last episode had some audio issues. I am hoping that I got them corrected. I, I did a couple of test uh, uh, recordings and played them back, and it seemed to be okay. I think I've also fixed the audio-video uh, sync delay, so... Fingers crossed, guys. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. As always, let's jump right in and see how we make out. Uh, actually, before I get started, I want to see what do I have? Blast shell. Okay. My end is waiting at the beginning. Abandoned like Helios. Last drive. Ooh. Failed escape. Fatal crash. My memories have been rearranged into spiral patterns I cannot comprehend, dragging me into the deepest of the deep. I will go there now. As you will. This is weird. This is. Deafen. Whoa, fuck. Uh, definitely a strange map layout. That was lucky. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What do we have here? Unknown suit signal. Maybe not dead? Please tell me you're not fucking dead. You're gonna be dead. Yep. You're running in circles, and now the fucking thing is gonna crawl out of the goddamn ground and murder me. And it's always so loud and creepy. Oh no. What in detail? What's going on here? What's that purple thing? Oh shit. Okay, we are off to a really rough start. Okay, that was a bad idea. I have never seen those weird purple bar things. Assuming they would have injured us. That was just, uh, that was the quickest cycle yet. That was really bad. Um, just poor positioning, not a whole lot of room to move around. Um, probably, probably not a good judgment call there. What do we get? Lone Nightlight, a personal item being at full or low integrity increases weapon damage by 10%. Here we are again. fucking suit signal. Oh yeah, that, that is for sure. I'm not going to avenge myself. I'm gonna move forward. 
Maybe somewhere safer. Is that water? Hell no. Hell no, we were not doing that. Increases repair efficiency by 25%. Stat augment. So these things, I think, they're like a bit of an upgrade, but they only last for the cycle, I believe. Some bad guys over there. Uh, actually, not in bad shape right now. That is that weird crimson gate thing, or whatever it's called. We're not gonna go there. This is no good. That thingy, whatever it's called. Uh, this way. Okay. Uh, we either need to go through there or we are going a very roundabout way. We're going to find out here right away. Uh, these things. I hate these things. I hate them. They're actually the worst.
buddy. Blades when suffering damage. Okay. No, no, fuck. Oh, Jesus. I don't like it. Catches all parasites or hostiles have a chance to drop resin on death. And what do we have here? Shock stream. I believe that's the uh, the one that shoots out the electricity. Which I'm hoping it was actually pretty decent. I used it. I think I used it in my last cycle, maybe or cycle before. I can't remember exactly. Can't go up there. Uh, just up, up we go. to buy really anything. I feel like the enemies are getting... I already did that. I feel like the enemies are getting slightly more difficult and I'm just not getting better. And it's causing causing me some issues. Oh, it's a creepy ass house. Okay. There's not typically anything in here. For enemies, anyway. I almost just want to leave the uh, suit signals alone. What is down there? Oh, okay.
calibr calibrator. Over lights. The Ublek. What are you? Om Ominous Gold Tail. Drop Ublites last two seconds longer. Increases the chance of finding malignant. We're gonna take it. Maybe it'll help us a little bit. Seconds longer. They do too. They're, they're sitting around for a long time. This time around. That's good. Okay, I think we're in decent shape, maybe. I don't know why I do this to myself. We're going on lockdown. Why are you moving so slow? Oof. Now, yep. What the hell? Hostiles have a chance to drop resin on death, right? Why do I do this to myself? Suit integrity critical. Perfect. got in here. What are you? Obolitus extractor. Hostiles that have injured you drop 50% more obolites when killed. Okay, so what are you? You are an artifact as well. Okay. At this point, I'm feeling like that's not super helpful. Something that turns obelites into, I don't know, health or something. Uh, flying things. No flying things this time around. Holy shit, here we go. There is some health there. No, 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 fuck. So 
fucking loud, goddamn, bro. Everywhere. They are fucking everywhere. Holy shit. Nope. 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 all malfunctions I don't know do I have any I don't have any uh, malfunctions right now so yeah, I'm gonna keep that because it actually fixes the malfunctions the uh, the other one I think drops resin which helps reduce malfunctions or something where is that health? Is it? Oh, it is up. Uh, okay. like I am not going to get my health. Okay. I'm actually going to go over here in hopes that there might be... Unknown device. Preliminary analysis safe to approach. Potentially beneficial. It looks like it should help us with integrity. Inactive Xenotech device can be used to recover and increase integrity. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, god damn. That is rumbling my fucking eardrums. Okay, okay. So it's increased our integrity. I wonder if that's going to be a permanent increase. And it's given us a good chunk of our health back. Which is good. That's a good thing. Damaged Xenotech device fabricates a random item in exchange for an increasing amount of ovalites. Creates a shield against the next hit. Could be. Could be useful. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that as is. Okay, so I can't do anything up there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go up here. There is a door.
this fuck? Holy shit balls, man. That scared the shit out of me. Get out of there. Shotgun, no thank you. There are a couple of... Maybe some health that I can track down somewhere in here. What are you? Repairs moderate damage to integrity, but it is infected with malignancy. While in midair, while in midair minus 50% weapon damage. Okay, well that's not the greatest, but we need the health big time. Can't get up there until I have the grapple thing. Assuming that is the way to the boss. We're not we're not fucking ready for it at all. Ugh. Going into lockdown here. Translation accuracy, 70%. Our brethren barred us from Citadel and sealed Frike and the others in the vaults, but it will not stop them from sending out their call and digging into our minds, making our nightmares real. That is fucking terrifying. Okay. Uh, so we got the weird spotlight things. And... Another cannon type deal. I wonder if it is going to be worth going back. I don't know, how far can I go back for health? What's reasonable? What is reasonable? Uh, I'm actually going to go back here and see if I can pick up this health. I 
don't want to do that because it's malignant. Maybe... Not a whole lot. Uh, I guess I could go back through there. Maybe see if there's some items I can fabricate through that door. Perhaps. Does not look like it. My luck, I'll get fucking jumped. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Increased proficiency, upcoming malfunctions have harder fix requirements. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be worthwhile. open you up. Stagger power is up there. I don't know if that's going to work on the Frike. I have no idea. I feel like I am going to get just absolutely destroyed again by this thing. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. All the way over here. feeling super confident about this, to be honest. Homing missile. Modified sidearm? Let's see what it's like. This has got some bonus damage. Maybe, maybe I should use it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's... Let's see how we make out. You scary ass motherfucker.
things going on. My heart is literally just pounding in my fucking chest right now. shaking right now. The Crimson Key, there we are. Ooh. Acquired a new kind of unlocking mechanism. This could interface with a different kind of translocation device. Undiscovered item. What are you? Unfed pod data cube. Deposit into a matching device to permanently unlock this item designed for future cycles. Data cube. Okay, we are gonna do this. Item unlocked. What is it? Unfed pod. Grants 20% stagger power for each attached parasite. So I get to keep that moving forward. That's what it sounds like. Oh. This thing looks terrifying. Xenotech device that detaches a random parasite and produces oblites in return. Do I actually have a... Oh, I do have a parasite, that's right. Although I probably should have left it on with this new unfed pod thing. Give me them, give me them oblites. head back over here. the teleportation gate. Based on the coordinates of the broadcast signal, I'm on the other side of the planet. Xenotech prism. Gain an additional consumable slot. Absolutely. Awesome. So I guess it will tell you when you have permanent equipment. Grants a varying amount of weapon proficiency. Okay. This is some total recall bullshit. I'm in a sprawling desert now, detecting another strange energy from a mountain summit, ascending towards destination. Scout log Atra. Beginning ascent of the mountain. I don't know which attempt this is. Despite knowing the hazards ahead, I'm having Damn. difficulty retraving the technology. Bright. There are certain 
obstacles I don't look forward to re-experiencing. But I feel as though something at the top is summoning me. Try it? I'm gonna try it. Holy sh what in the hell? What the fuck, man? Yeah, no, we're we're for sure gonna die here. Holy fuck, what the hell? was fucking crazy. <clears throat> New simulation mode tier unlocked. Visit ship simulation computer to access challenge tier. Interesting. Okay. So. Uh, we've got the little data cube thing. What is that void beam? That's crazy. Okay, that's cool. Um, weird. Okay, so we have the data cube, just, but it won't let me go over there to look at it. So that's kind of strange. Um, anyways, I think we're gonna cut the episode off. This one is going uh, quite a bit longer, I think, than I expected. Um, we made some good progress. Uh, the boss fight was was super intense. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm really enjoying the game still. It is very challenging. Um, but I think, you know, generally the idea is to die and, and progress a little bit each time. Um, sometimes better than others. But uh, yeah, I think we made some really decent progress. Um, and in the next episode, I guess we're going to we're going to hit the sprawling desert as Celine's uh, referred to it as. Uh, so we are going to have to make, make our way back to the Crimson Gate and head through there. Uh, so we'll we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.